guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And I love y'all so much. I just want to start off this, this video with just a huge thank you. You guys have just been absolutely killing the channel. I'm just super stoked. Financially, again, YouTubers don't make a lot of money. I'm like always in a financial crisis. It's always how it is. Because to, to spend hundreds of dollars per, like, per day I make a video is way more than how much I make on YouTube. So just seeing your guys' responses to the content, seeing your guys' support on the content really does mean the world, really makes me feel like uh, the money I'm putting in is definitely worth it. So I really do appreciate you guys. So I also do wanna talk about something. So if you guys really wanna see me go crazy on this 128, I do want you guys to let me know down below because I have some crazy ideas and if you guys wanna do it, just let me know. So put some comments down below what you guys want me to do to this. Even, I, I, I even consider an engine swap. Um, so just put, throw down your ideas down below and I'll be super down to do some research and figure out what we're gonna be doing for this build. Anyways, we're actually heading down. I don't know if you guys have seen me. Sorry for the bad lighting. We're heading down to Sears right now. He's gonna hook it up with a haircut because your boy has been looking kind of two-toned. I don't even know what's going on right now. And then we're gonna head down to the shop and I got a sick mod for you guys. Shout out to one of you guys for sending me out this mod. I'm stoked. So uh, from no haircut, and yes, I'm vlogging from this angle. From no haircut to... Not too shabby, eh? Oh, damn. Always looking fresh. Shout out to Sears. Sure. We actually have a good idea about the shop. So, do you guys like this haircut? I think it looks pretty dang good. So, what, what, what do you think? What were we talking about earlier? Uh, I might start going to the shop once a week to cut the boys up. I think that'd be sick. Like, honestly, having him over at the shop and like, all of us getting our cuts and stuff as we're working on cars, it'd be like, <laughs> exactly. it's gonna be like a dope environment. Exactly. And we got jams playing, so it's gonna be super, super exactly. sick. Exactly. You know, one person's gonna be working on cars, another's getting his haircut. You know, got the conversation. Put <laughs> activity at his face. Heck yeah, so yeah, we're gonna be doing that hopefully, but yeah, finally got my cut So let's go ahead and get down to the shop get a little bit of work done and get something to eat afterwards and I'm pretty hungry Yeah, it's up boy boy Something that I realized also as I'm driving this car, the heater doesn't blow, like it blows hot, but if you put it on full blast, it doesn't blow super hot. Like it actually becomes somewhat cold. Actually right now it's super hot. Yeah, it really just depends. Like sometimes it's really hot, sometimes it doesn't work at all. So I'm starting to think that the system may need to be bled. I think the cooling system, as long as heat's coming out, my water pump should be fine, but let's just go ahead and at least bleed the system so my heater would work all the time. Yeah, you can see it putting water right now. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. That's cool. But yeah, it's doing the bleeding procedure now. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. I went ahead and put my headlights just on the halos so it doesn't kill my battery. So while this is doing that, we're gonna go and chill. Got my subway. Oh, you can hear it now. You can definitely hear it. I thought my water pump was bad. So this is a good way also to test your water pump. So yeah, we're good on the water pump. That's good. We're going to let it bleed and hopefully my heater should be working perfect. Come to enjoy that subway. Oh my Lord, you can't go wrong with subway. If only I had a subway sponsorship. Life would be so perfect. All right guys, so yeah, we pretty much blood the system, which means the car is ready to go. We'll go ahead and test that in a little bit, but I'm too excited to show you guys what one of you guys sent out for the 128. Well, actually it was meant for the 328, but we're gonna put on the 128 because I think it's more worth. You guys ready to see what it is? Ready? All right, here we go. That's right, one of you guys sent me out an E90, E90 uh, N52 intake. I don't know if you guys know how expensive those things are. Those are like roughly $500. I actually have a link down below if you guys wanna check out the one that I have right now. Shout out to, to my man right here. Honestly, I cannot believe that you sent out this intake. It's in pristine shape. He said it's just missing the screws to put the cap on and everything, which I personally will figure out a way to put it together. That is no issue, especially considering it's free. So shout out to you, my guy. I appreciate you so much. I'm pretty sure all N52 intake takes are the same so we'll go ahead and remove this replace the intake and see if there's any sound differences i swear to god if there is it's gonna be so dope but actually let's go ahead and turn it on check for the heating uh check if heating is working and then uh do a couple revs for you guys to see if there's any difference so you guys heard that pretty stock i'm not gonna lie pretty stock let's go ahead and go down to napa real quick and see if i can get some screws for the intake because he said the only issue that he had was not having the screws for it so i'm gonna go ahead and go down to napa see if they got some screws for this thing and uh that'll be sick just went ahead but the systems the heater is working perfectly i don't know if you guys can see that but it is working and actually it's pretty hot so we're gonna turn that off 
So another job well done if you ask me. So let's go ahead and go down to Napa. Um, I have the intake in the trunk and let's figure out if we can get the screws for it so we can get the intake in there. You guys heard that before, it's hopefully here and after and hopefully there's a big difference. I know the engine bay's gonna look a lot nicer, but I'm hoping if there's some at least some sound differences, I think it'd be pretty dope. So we just ended up leaving. He said that he doesn't have the right screw size, so we're gonna go ahead and go to Ace Hardware. It's about a 20 minute drive, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right guys, now we're at Ace Hardware. Hopefully we can find something for this thing. I think this is it right here. It's about a buck each. Jeez Louise, now that's a car. My God, it even has red interior. Oh my Lord, one day. So I just went ahead and picked up some of these screws right here. Um, they're Allen keys and they're black. So they actually look pretty sick if you guys can see right there. I think it looks pretty badass. And it's screwing all the way, so perfect. All right guys, we finally made it back, so finally. Thankfully, Ace Hardware had the screws that fit perfectly. I went down to Napa and they did not have the screws, so that kind of sucked. I had to drive an extra 20 minutes down. It took me 30 minutes to get back, but that's whatever because now, you guys check it out. It looks really good. Like it looks like OEM screws. So that's what's really nice. It's kind of like, it's kind of worth taking that extra 30 minute drive to get proper screws. I think I spent more on gas than the actual screws, but that's life. By the way, these are Jonathan's tools. So uh, he's probably gonna see this video and slap me in the face. Don't worry, Jonathan, I'm gonna return this. It was right on top. It was irresistible. I had to grab it. Now that the new intake is ready to go, let's go ahead and get this old intake out so we can slap in the new one. Finally, the intake got installed. I actually removed this back pipe to the throttle body, so I actually had to remove that, connect it to the intake, and then connect it back to the car, because otherwise there's no way this thing's going in. But yeah, everything for the most part is good. Don't mind that. Um, Sears here. What's up, bro? Um, so I hope to God this thing actually makes some decent sounds. If it just looks good, I, I don't know, but I I'm just hoping it makes some sounds. So yeah, you guys heard it. That's pretty much how it sounds. Compared to a non, I mean, to, compared to a turbo car, this is really sad. And it's way more expensive than a turbo car. I think a turbo car intake is like $100. And a, this is a non-turbo, and it takes like 500 bucks. I think it still looks super badass. It has a small sound to it. I'm sure it adds a very inty weenty amount of power. For the subscriber that sent it out, shout out to you. That's just one extra mod to the 128, which is super sick. Shout out to you, I'm super thankful. Super, 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 that's all I'm saying. All right guys, I'm gonna let Sear drive the car. He always likes driving the Beamer, so I'm gonna let him, and then we're gonna go ahead and get some Starbucks because uh, we're kinda thirsty. And then we'll probably figure out what else we're gonna do with the 128 when we get back. Isn't the steering a lot heavier? Man, yeah, this is pretty heavy. <laughs> It feels like it's broken, right? Bro, yeah, I, I don't even know. <laughs> Hello? Nice to meet you. I'm happy you know how to drive an automatic. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? I'm irrelevant. <laughs> we gonna get? I just want a nice car. Hello? Sorry, just one moment, please. Show. <laughs> you come here often? Dang, Thanks. shout out to C. Is that shit worth $5? <laughs> Honestly, like the thing is, it's McDonald's. I mean, if you get any, if you get a shake from anywhere else for five bucks, you'd be like, that's a good deal. But you're at McDonald's, like you, yeah. you don't pay five dollars for a shake. So yeah, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this, and then we're gonna go ahead and start washing the 128. The blessing of being at this garage, water is free. Like I, I don't understand. Like where in the world is water free? I don't even. I, I really don't know. I think the only thing that's free in in California is air. Um, that's the only thing that's free here. And then you have the opportunity if you rent a shop to apparently get free water. So if you guys want a lifetime supply of water, make sure to rent a shop. That's the best way to do it.
All right, guys, car is cleaned up, all fixed up. It's all good stuff. I'm gonna actually wait for Jonathan to get here and see if we're gonna be doing anything with him. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we're out here on the plates. So I decided we're just gonna go ahead and order some plates for the 435. Just figure out uh, what kind of names you can go with. What were you thinking? Natty. Natty? Trick. Natty Trick. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna sit you guys down. We're gonna go ahead and do some research and we'll get back to y'all in a few. I'm thinking about going the one with Mickey Mouse. I think that one's pretty dope, right? Oh my kid, let's go with the black. Oh hell no. Forty dollar annual actually that's really cheap. Forty dollar annual fee. Why is this pink one like eighty-three dollars? Alright, time to personalize. What do you guys think about that? On my way to BMW. That's actually like it's like funny because like you always have to be there. Oh no, that's kinda crazy. Uh still thinking, still thinking. All right, guys, I think this is it. This is sick. All right, guys, so I think we found the plate. What do you think, dude? I think it's the one. I think it's the one. So we're gonna go ahead and place the order. God knows how long this thing's gonna take to get here, but uh, let's go ahead and place the order, and then it uh, should be sick. This is gonna be for the 435, because that one's gonna be like a very long-term car. And that's when you guys know I'm keeping it long-term. When I'm actually ordering plates, it's gonna take three months to get here. Because <laughs> I know we don't keep a car that long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, I'm driving right now, and if I downshift, you can hear it right you can there. Hear it. Yeah, you can hear the engine. Like you can hear it a lot louder. I think that's the intake right there. Cause, all right, guys. So Jonathan really did notice it. Bro. I didn't notice it, dude. That that sound right there. That's the intake right there. All right, guys. Me, Sierra, and Johnny. Let's go get something to eat. Your boy. This is not his cheat day. So we're gonna try something. Get something like you know, lightweight, healthy. Maybe a salad. Maybe some chicken. We don't know. We gotta figure out what's uh, what's what's on that healthy menu. If you know what I mean. I don't know why I feel fat. We ate a salad. Sheesh. But I was good. It was really good. Uh, I think we're just gonna head home, right, Johnny? Jonathan's got you coming home with me today. We're just gonna, you know, Ooh, just kick it. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go home right now. Pretty much tired for the day. Uh, we might continue the video on another day. We'll let you guys know. I'll make this all come true. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have worth.